Hey guys, what's up? Gary Simon of Corsetro here, and I just decided to do this video real quick because I realized, you know, I put out this course about how to build this upcoming games app in Ionic 3, but I never really showcased the actual app, so I figure I use this opportunity to spam you guys just, you know, one, once more. Um, so we can see I have it up at Google Play, so you can download it for Android. I don't have access to a Mac or anything, so... Um, it's not available for iOS, even though it is a hybrid app and will work for iOS. Um, so, you know, if you have a, if you just have like a, an Apple phone, sorry, <laughs> you can check out this video instead, but you'll still be able to follow along. So uh, we could see here, you know, this is just at the Google Play Store. Very simple. You can install if you want. Um, so the very first thing we do in this course is design this icon right. Well, let's see if my focus here will work correctly. It'll be a pain in the ass probably. Yeah, that icon right there. And that's based on a lettermark logo. So the UG that you see there is um, something that will conceptualize and design in Adobe Illustrator, though you can use any other um, you know, vector-based uh, drawing application to do that. Um, and then after that, we focus on doing a mock-up, of course, of the main user interface. So let me just get back out here and we'll launch the app. So We'll hit it. The very first thing we focus on, uh, again, is the logo. And that's also that splash screen that shows up. We'll do that as well. And the very first thing uh, that it, after the logo and all that stuff is done is this uh, nap bar up top that we design in Adobe Experience Design or XD. Again, all of that stuff, the design stuff is optional. You don't have to really follow along if you don't want to. I provide all the assets um, from my end if you just want to do the coding stuff. Um, but yeah, once the app loads after the, the initial splash screen, what it's doing is it's connecting to a API, and it's an a API that offers a free version, um, and it's called IDGB, Internet um, Games Database, and basically you have thousands upon thousands of games in this database that you can make any type of app with. So that's what we're doing here, and we're pulling this list of these games, and we've sort them in such a way that they're upcoming games. And we design all this from scratch, uh, like I said, in Adobe XD. Uh, so we can get a good idea of you know, what we want to design for um, or, or code for later on using the you know, standard HTML and CSS. Um, and so basically, when you click on one of the games, uh, we'll see that we have uh, some animation that will come up. And we work all that stuff in. We have a game summary. We have screenshots cool sort of a horizontal based sliding of the screenshots and then down here we also have the actual uh, videos and trailers that are associated with it so it's pulling all this stuff from that API which is really cool so if you click on one of these of course it will launch a YouTube video based on that particular video and so in order to get that to work, of course, we'll be integrating Cordova plugins for YouTube. Uh, each game has its own website, which is right there. It says visit, and that uh, requires an in-app browser that we'll install. So there's just a ton of different stuff. Let me hit back here. That this app is, that developing this app will show you how to do in Ionic. So up top, we also have uh, favorites or faves, and we also have filter. So if you have a game that you like, we can favorite it, and it stores your uh, favorite games in local storage. So you'll learn how to use local storage and saving data um, here in Ionic. So now we can click on faves. My thumb will stretch that much. And you can see there is some animation as well when the games come in. And then also we can filter and this filter here, all these lists, let me uh, get a little bit closer so you can see this. Please focus. There, well, kind of, there we go. Uh, sorry about the scan lines as well. I, I suck at video. But um, yeah, these are different game genres that you can choose to sort through. And this is also pulling directly from the API itself. So we can go to like, uh, let's see here, simulator, and there we go. Now we can also real quickly search, 
So we have that working. I'll type in something like Quake or Call of Duty 52. Yeah, and I had to kind of pause there because uh, it was taking a little bit of time to load. But um, yeah, all this stuff uh, you're going to learn how to do if you take that uh, Ionic course. Of course, it's only $9 and you get access to all of my courses. So um, yeah, definitely a huge view, huge bargain um, setting it up like that. So Theoretically, you could just join for one month, pay $9, access all of my courses. All right, so that is it. Uh, hopefully you decide to join up, and I'll be seeing you soon. There will be another course released this month, month of July. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, and all of that fun jazz. All right, see you later. Welcome to this full-stack development course where you're going to go from design to code, from start to finish, while creating a fully hybrid app. Hi, I'm Gary Simon, and I've been a full stack developer for nearly two decades, and I've produced courses for LinkedIn, Pluralsight, and Envato Network. Now my passion is teaching others how to build full projects by example, and that's what this course is all about. You're going to build an Ionic app, which is based on an extremely powerful hybrid framework for building Android, iOS, and Windows apps. Our app is called Upcoming Games. This app will allow users to sort through the latest upcoming games in any genre. Users can search games, favorite games, and even watch trailers and learn more about each game. So what will you learn in this course? Logo design, designing user interface mockups, creating interactive prototypes, and on the development side, installing Ionic, connecting to an API, templating in material design, launching your app on your phone, and so, so much more. Now, if you're only interested in design or coding, that's perfectly fine. My project files are set up in such a way that you can jump in at any point during the course. Now, while this course is based on just one project, I'm a firm believer in quality over quantity. So if you're ready to begin learning how to build a real app that people are actually going to want to use, let's get started.